Gentlemen, my first guest this evening has starred in many films, including Ghostbusters, Gorillas in the Mist, and Dave. Starting tomorrow, she can be seen in the latest Alien movie, Alien Resurrection. Let's take a look. Come on, now, give me the ball. Had enough fun. The hell are you? Please welcome Sigourney Weaver. so much for coming. It's a pleasure. I love your show. I'm oh. a huge fan. Oh, well, great. Well, thank you very much. We're big fans of yours. Oh, well, thank you. And, and I, it was so, uh, just this clip illustrates it so well, mm. but you get so physically ripped and pumped for these movies. I mean, you must work out like a fiend to get ready for these movies. Um, actually, this was the only one I kind of did work out for, um, and I did a lot of karate. Karate? Shaolin karate. So you could beat me to a pulp right now. If you were of a mind to. Not that you would want to. If you weren't being nice, I guess I would have <laughs> some recourse. <laughs> yeah, right. They brought you back to, literally brought you back to life for this part. Well, well yes. Your character was, was killed. Yes. And then, what they do? They find some DNA? They found it from a blood sample mm -hmm. and uh, with uh, me with the little queen inside. And they used it for nefarious purposes. Mm -hmm. So they could do this now in any movie now. They could start bringing back any character. If someone dies in a movie but it makes a lot of money, that used to mean you couldn't be in the sequel. Yeah. Now with cloning, everybody can come back. Is everybody that the idea? can come back, even if they've never been there, like Norma Desmond we could bring back. Right, you could say they, 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 they cloned her and now it's time to make another movie. Actually, the studio will be thrilled. They can use outtakes from other pictures and just sort of slice them together and say it's cloning. And then make it a Pepsi commercial. Yeah. <laughs> you, uh, this movie must have taken a long time to do. The special effects are amazing. We were looking at clips from it. Mm -hmm. You must have, are there times when you're celebrating a holiday? on the set because these take I think this took six months didn't it? It, it took a long time we we did celebrate Valentine's Day actually we um, that was sort of a nice we had a sort of French crew who were quite romantic and keep kissing you all the time and then we had the American crew who were too cool to do all the kissing stuff but right. so actually Winona and I um, in fact we did get um, champagne and candy and little hearts and in fact we got condoms shaped like um, pirate coins that we put put in the little Oh, those little containers. gold coins? You know them. Oh, I... Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They're great. They're handy. <laughs> and so you gave those out to the crew. You're we giving condoms out? Well, we... It's sort of in a matter of speaking, uh, but we had this display when people were finished um, with lunch. They came and they could take um, candy and mm -hmm. whatever they wanted. Mm -hmm. I, I actually, by, by the end, there was a man who came over who we didn't recognize from either crew, and he sort of looked around and sort of, you know, grunting, uh, seemed to approve, and he picked up a pirate coin, and he opened it, and he popped it in his mouth and walked away. <laughs> <laughs> and Winona said, I yeah. think that's a flavored condom. <laughs> and then he uh, blew a really offensive bubble. Yeah. <laughs> himself in a lot of trouble. <laughs> oh! <laughs> uh, now, of course, you're, you're a big movie star, and I've always been curious if, if, uh, if big celebrities like yourself, with the exception of, of, of me, do you ever see someone and get starstruck? Would you ever see somebody that you've maybe seen on television or in the movies, and you yourself act like a goofy fan? Well, I'm really terrible at that. I get quite excited. I hate it if someone does it to me. If mm -hmm. someone even raises their voice and says my name outside, you know, I just I shrink and cower, and I do, I do remember I was doing an off-off-Broadway show. I walked into some deli, and I saw a guy who I thought looked like Tom Cruise. Mm -hmm. And I, I went, it's Tom Cruise, really loud, and turned around, and of course it was Tom Cruise. I was totally mortified. I ran out. I've really never spoken to him since. I haven't met him. I'm sure he's avoiding me. You just me. saw you, Sigourney Weaver. You see Tom Cruise in a deli. You scream, it's Tom Cruise, and I then know. you ran away. I was so embarrassed because it, it was just so <laughs> 
not expected. I know. His people didn't contact know, you and said, what's your problem? It's terrible. It's like the last thing in the world you want to have happen. Because, yeah, they, they, you know, I can't stand that. But coming from you, I would think you would know not to do that. You also had a run-in with uh, John Travolta, right? Yes, yes. But I knew who he was. Um, but I did. John was kind enough to invite my husband and me to his birthday party last year. And he had Sergio Mendez playing. And he had a little tiny dance floor and about... I don't know, toward the end of the evening, everyone started dancing, and he very nicely came over and asked me if I wanted to dance. And so my husband never likes to dance, so I thought, great. So we go and we dance, and, you know, I'm thinking, gosh, you know, he, he holds you well. You know, he really, you know, he feels like a good dancer, and we sort of dance a little more, and he's really moving well, and I'm thinking, well, this guy's pretty good, you know, who would have thought, you know? Anyway, the second dance starts, and he says, you know, now he starts to sort of, you know, cha-cha around and start spinning me around and everything, and I'm beginning mm -hmm. to think, I cannot keep up with this guy, and I'm thinking, right. this must be some, like, hobby for him, right. he's really good at it, and I look at him, and I went, oh, my God, <laughs> Saturday Night Fever, Grease, all those, sh I just t You totally, forgot that he was a dancer. I completely forgot that he was, like, the greatest dancer you in the think? Western world, you th and you I thought said, he was I'm the sorry, John, I just remembered our babysitter, I have to go, <laughs> <laughs> did, did, because you thought that he was his career, he was a young unknown they found in Pulp Fiction. I don't know what you know? I thought. I just think of him, I think of him as such a good actor. Uh -huh. I just completely forgot about did he, other Was thing. this the giveaway when he started doing that? Did you just, <laughs> is that the part where you just said? <laughs> this is just too much. So you're shocked that Tom Cruise, you, it's Tom Cruise and John Travolta, you've got to learn to act. You know, I know. Normally around. I know. People. I know. Not that <laughs> I do. Happens. I always act like a fool. Uh, <laughs> Alien Resurrection opens tomorrow, and it's at theaters everywhere, and it looks great. The under. We, I've just seen clips of the underwater scene. Yeah. That looks amazing. It, it 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 is. It is actually. Yeah. We are terrified. Okay. Yeah. Well, thank you very much for thank coming. Thank you. Very cool to have you thank on the show. You. Sigourney Weaver, everybody. Garth <laughs> Brooks is coming. Up. We'll take a break. We'll be right back.